There are growing calls this morning for more police accountability. After six separate incidents in just two weeks, where First Nations people were killed by police. In response, MPs held an emergency debate last night in the House of Commons, and Marianne has the details on the story, particularly the details on the incidents, Marianne, that led to these six deaths. Yeah, these are six First Nations deaths by police over a two-week span between August 29th and September 8th in different parts of the country. And now the NDP is demanding accountability. They say this is a systemic issue, one that has left so many families across the country not only grieving but also demanding answers. The first incident happened on August 29th. In this case, it was 31-year-old Jack Pichet from Clearwater Cree Nation shot by the RCMP in Watasco in Alberta. Uh, excuse me, uh, I'd like to go back there. That's 31-year-old Jack Pichet from Clearwater River Dene Nation struck and killed by the RCMP on Highway 909, excuse me, in Saskatchewan. Then August 30th, 15-year-old Haas Lightning from Samson Cree Nation was shot by the RCMP in Watasco in Alberta. He had called police for help. On September 2nd, Tammy Bateman from Rousseau River Anishinaabe First Nation was struck and killed in a park by Winnipeg police. And then on September 6th, 57-year-old Jason West was shot by Windsor police. Officers in that case were reportedly responding to someone with a report of a weapon. September 8th, there were two incidents. On uh, the 8th, 31-year-old Danny Knight from Atakakoop Cree Nation in Saskatchewan was shot by RCMP responding to an assault call. And then later on that day, 34-year-old Stephen Iggy Dadam was shot and killed by the RCMP in Elsie Pugdog First Nation. That was in New Brunswick. In all of these cases, they are now being probed by an independent police watchdog, and those investigations are ongoing. In response to that, as I just mentioned, uh, MPs meeting for an emergency debate in the House last night. How did that go? Yes. NDP uh, MP from Nunavut, Lori Idlaut, she has requested or had requested this emergency debate in the House of Commons that did happen last night. And she spoke with a very emotional message to the House, uh, talking about the impact that this violence has on communities all across the country. As an Inuk, uh, I know uh, from family what that fear can do. It can be paralyzing, it can be confusing, and without proper mental health supports, without proper coping skills, that isolation can lead to more social issues that will require the need for protection. And to have to think about being paralyzed because maybe there's gunshots that you hear next door, whether you're going to be protected or not. As a result of the recent incidents across the country, there have been calls for justice and scenes of emotion really playing out all across the country in different provinces, including in New Brunswick, where there have been signs calling for justice and, of course, again, demanding answers. We know, Heather, at this point, the federal government has said that they are drafting legislation to make First Nations policing an essential services a service and that they've also increased funding for Indigenous police forces. But... Again, those calls continue to do more. Okay, Marianne, thank you very much.